Hello. Good morning. Where are we? We are in Usan. Currently, we are at Daelangam Gomong. So basically, it's just a big like nature park. But anyway, the bridge behind me, right there, we're gonna go a little bit later. There's a little kitten. There's kittens everywhere here. Hi. There's back mittens. All right, you ready to go up on this big peninsula? Okay. With the wind coming in from the sea, it just got like legit cold. It's like a chilly, chilly breeze, and it's like the middle of summer. It is so windy right now. Even with the windscreen on the microphone, I don't know if you'll be able to hear us, but something hilarious just happened. What just, what just happened? This woman, she wanted to take a picture with me. She said I was beautiful, and I look like a baby. <laughs> she just came up and she's like, oh, so beautiful, picture with me. What a view. Okay, let's go back down. It happened again, we were up on the peak and these ladies were just like, oh, you're so beautiful. Can we please take a picture with you again up here? <laughs> Next thing you know, now they have our number and I'm gonna have to send them the pictures I took on my camera. What? Hello? Why are you coming here with your kittens? This is so dangerous. Don't bring your kitten here, no. No, your cat doesn't need to be, your baby doesn't need to be here. Put your baby away. I don't know what this is. I don't think it's lilac. It looks a little bit different, but it's so pretty. Look at this field. This is some Asian sort of, grass but I guess it's technically what we would call like a uh, lily turf but it's really pretty. For some reason we're getting ready to go on this massive suspension bridge. This is a huge, this might be the biggest suspension bridge I've ever been on. I know you don't like how, how are you feeling about this? I love safety. We are very high up. This is a massive bridge. This is the beautiful city of Osan. This is kind of in a cove, I didn't really realize that. Okay, that was an awesome part. So we left and now we are at like an indoor zoo animal place where we're gonna pet a bunch of animals, I guess. You just came in. Uh, oh, you're gonna hold a snake? <laughs> uh, hi. <laughs> are you good? <laughs> Oh, this is dad, this is mom, this is their baby. Oh. Uh, desert fox. Yeah. Hi. He's petting a fox. <laughs> They're just chilling together. Hey! Hello, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Okay, this is one of the coolest places ever. These animals are all so chill with each other. Even though their cages are kind of small, they seem to let them out a lot. Like, every time they seem to want out, they just like let them out and they just come out and then the animals are done and they want to go back home and so they do. I feel happy, but I don't know where to go because I love cats. I know, I want to see the cats, but... But there's so many other animals yeah. here. You like my camera? <laughs> camera shy. Oh, hello, where are you going, buddy? <laughs> this, um, what do you call it? Shiny things. Oh, he wants to eat your watch? I did. Oh, there's a chinchilla. I didn't even notice you. Hello. I get cute. <laughs> so cute. It looks so cute. Oh, aren't they so cute? Here's a leopard gecko. How many animals are in this place? Well, it's okay. I'm at therapy right now. There's a leopard gecko in my hand, and there's a kitten in my lap. It's sleepy. Slowly but surely. Is he attacking him? No, they're just hanging out. Oh, no. It has a little bit of a smell. Yeah, but it's not bad. It, what is happening to me? He was sleepy and we woke him up. Wow, that's crazy. How does it feel? Weird. I don't want to go. I'm so sorry we have to go. I'm hungry. Oh, I'm usually a person who always has to like, I'm on time, be on time, only able to a lot of time, but I can be there all day. Like this? Oh, like match together. Oh, yeah. like these match together? Yeah, I love that. This, okay, so this is this yours. Is okay. Do you like this? 
Because it matches like the gold? Yeah, the gold for sure. Okay. Okay, I look fabulous. So in the studio up here, they take your picture and you can decide which one you like the most. They have all the clothes you need to decide which one you want. They also have hats, but I think they're extra and also we don't want hats. We decided to not wear the shoes today, even though it's way more traditional. And outside and around, they have some photo zones for you. We are wearing cr traditional Korean clothes, humble, because he's never tried on a humble before. It's a thing that you must do in Korea. So I guess we're gonna just go around to all the famous sites and take pretty pictures in front of all the places in our humbug. Oh, she looks so beautiful. We're back at the bridge from yesterday. Definitely a top photo so spot. Definitely a top photo spot in Gwangju. So. I'll speak. It's definitely a, do a top photo shot. Dang it. <laughs> it's definitely a top photo place in Gyeongju for sure. Mm -hmm. There's just a lone heron out there. How pretty is that? Or maybe it's a crane. I don't know the differences. These sunflowers are also a beautiful spot for some bundle photos. I love all the traditional roofs. Okay, where are we now? We are at Dedenwon, which is where the ancient tombs are. I don't know much about the tombs, I just know the shape is really unique. One thing I noticed about Gyeongju is that everything here is just, all the parks are so pretty. Look at this field with trees. This is the tomb of King Michu, I think? Of the Sira dynasty? Very hard for me to say. Say that again. Shira. Shira dynasty? King Michu. Okay, hi buddy. Everywhere we go, the kitties are there. Oh. Right at the end of our two days here in Gyeongju, the sun decides to come out. Why now? But the kittens are everywhere. <laughs> this is a really cute cafe. It's called Takeout, but there's tons of seating. Do you want to come in? Oh, no, you can't come in. Okay, we got Mulgwacha, which is like a traditional Korean drink with tea with Chinese fruit or something. And then this is Shike, which is rice drink. After we returned the hanbok, we decided to go back home and make some dinner. What I didn't show earlier is on our way home from Ulsan, we decided to stop and get some sparkling makgeolli. I didn't film a lot, but the stuff is really good. Okay, so since we had so much stuff from grilling yesterday left over, we decided to make some fried rice. So we picked up some fried rice from the convenience store, and we just kind of mixed it all together, and it looks really good, actually. It doesn't look insanely good, but it, well, to me it does. Okay, well, you're gonna eat it now, bye. Good morning. We were getting ready to leave and we realized we never showed you the Airbnb, so here's a quick little tour. Okay, so here it is. There's also there's this huge sitting room with a pretty comfy couch and a nice little table. And of course there's a TV, got a big fridge, and a very nice kitchen in here. This kitchen is where all the food happened. It's a very nice kitchen. There's a lot of room. It's very spacious. It has everything you need. Maybe the best part is this bedroom, which is super big and kind of separate, which is super nice. It's nice to have a separate bedroom. And you've got this really nice view here over the lake, although it's really foggy right now. Both of these doors open up onto the patio here. Let me show you. Ow. Okay, so coming out onto the patio, you have this nice big area and a grill, and you can pay to use the grill. But if you look out over here, you can actually see there's a ton of ducks and a ton of herons down there. Look, they're everywhere. There's so many. Sorry, it's early morning, so it's pretty dark out, but yeah. Now we're gonna go disc golfing in Daegu. And uh, we're gonna go have some fun. What we're doing today is we're playing <gasps> disc golf! This is their disc golf course. I am so excited to take the actual 18 hole disc golf course around this entire park. I love disc golf so much. I'm super excited to play, so let's go. <laughs> I've been playing all summer and she's good, but she hasn't played for like two years, so it'll probably take her a second to warm back up. Sore loser. I don't know why these baskets suck. Sore loser. Insert sad music here. 
KTX goes right by the disc golf course. That's kind of cool. Okay, we done. We're a little bit hot now, but it was really fun. I, did you have fun? Yeah, it was fun. We finished all 18 holes, and so now we're gonna go back to the car. So right now, we are still in Daegu, and we decided to go to Susongmot, which is Susong Lake. It's an artificial pond, and I believe that it was made during 1925 when um, Korea was invaded by Japan, and they used this as a waterway, I think, for like plants and stuff. Yeah, like irrigation for agriculture. I think. Yeah, <laughs> but it's not used for that anymore. It's just a nice little lake in the middle of Daegu that you can chill at, so we're gonna chill at it. Let's chill. <laughs> Nice little island there. Looks like there's an orange airplane over there. Ooh, there's a nice little cafe looking thing over there. Wow. Good lake to chill at, that's for sure. Ah! These are some chunkers. These are some chunkers for sure. This path is probably very pretty at nighttime. How's the weather out today? Really rainy. Basically all of South Korea is getting flooded right now. We're just chilling in this super cool cafe. Here they sell like fluffy Japanese souffle pancakes. Um, but the person who's supposed to cook them is in the hospital. He won't be here till 11, except for that was a lie. It is 11, he's still not here. They said 11.30, so if they're not here soon, we're gonna have to leave with no pancakes and be very hungry and annoyed. We've been waiting so long that they gave us green grape juice. Okay, we had some other stuff planned, but unfortunately that day just kind of melted away. The rain got really bad and it was really hot and we waited around for like two hours, but the guy never showed up to make the pancakes. So we ended up having to leave Daegu and go back so we could return the car that we rented and we never got our fluffy pancakes. Don't worry, we made up for it later this year, but for now, that's the end of the vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. If you did, please like and subscribe. We have a ton more Korean content coming and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye bye.